What's happening there, Reject Nation? I'm James. This is my co-host, Mason. Hawkeye Chimes. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? Red hot comic book <laughs> movie news. news. Shooting up your butthole. butthole. I don't know. I think we can say it. Maybe we'll see. Hey, guys, we got some bad news, but maybe okay news. Maybe whatever news. For a lot of people, it's really bad news. And I wanted to talk about it today. It's involving uh, director John Watts. This story broke yesterday, hour today of the time of filming it. Enter the twilight zone. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> time travel. <laughs> Prepping videos in advance. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to talk about uh, how Spider-Man director John Watts has quit the Fantastic Four movie. Something else came out online that I wanted to touch on about John Krasinski replacing John Watts at, in the director's seat. That's going to be fun. John Watts did put out a statement saying, making three Spider-Man films was an incredible and life-changing experience for me. I'm eternally grateful to have been part. I'm, I'm worried I got a booger in my nose. Why? Don't turn turn to face me. <laughs> I'm eternally <laughs> grateful to have been a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe for seven years. I'm hopeful we'll work together again. It's interesting to put it that way. I'm hopeful we'll work together again. So nothing else in the pipeline. Nothing about another Spider-Man 4. And I can't wait to see the amazing, oh my God, Spider-Man Easter egg. Amazing vision. Oh my God, WandaVision uh, Easter egg for Fantastic Four brought to life. A multiverse of quotes right here. And then uh, Kevin Feige said something else. Oh, yeah, read that. Kevin Feige collaborating with John on the Spider-Man films has been a true pleasure. We were looking forward to continuing our work with him to bring the Fantastic Four into the MCU, but understand and are supportive of his reasons for stepping away. We are optimistic that we will have the opportunity to work together again at some point down the road. See, sometimes when you put this stuff in writing, I get so curious to know, what is the tone of this? <laughs> <laughs> what is the body language Collaborating of this? Collaborating with John in the Spider-Man films has yeah. been a true pleasure. Well, you know, like they're both saying, you know, hopefully down the road we'll work together mm -hmm. again. So it doesn't sound like they've ended on bad blood. In fact, Deadline, this is not, not a quote here, but Deadline did say in their article nothing sinister oh my god sinister six. nothing sinister here watts just needs a break from the superhero realm after completing the spidey trilogy with tom holland and zendaya i totally get that like the russo brothers they had to stop after endgame john watts you know he made he, well, the first thing i think he did before he got this movie was like the movie cop car just like a small thriller he does have another movie in the works i believe with apple studios that's supposed to star george clooney and brad pitt and it's going to be even bigger than oh, spider-man man. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> biggest crossover every celebrity he's gonna be in it when you commit like 10 years of your life to filming one specific story i completely understand when someone's goes you know what maybe i don't want to take on the pressure revitalizing fantastic four a franchise that just does not <laughs> seem to do well when translating from comic book to film i believe marvel studios can do it it's just there is more pressure on it to start that process all over again to go from i just redid spider-man it went great it's one of the biggest movies ever maybe i should take a break for a while and leave on a bit of a high note to start with fantastic four i could just imagine what the pressure would feel like to go the last couple franchises didn't do so well this one has to work this one has to be good finally in the mcu yeah <laughs> this, this needs to be yeah. perfect at all costs yeah and then knowing the filming process of how no way home went down too every film usually has constant rewrites but they go in with a whole different <laughs> variable of rewrites which is like we don't know the ending <laughs> Yeah, but we have a lot of moving parts and pieces. We have to remove plot lines. We got to put stuff yes. back in. We got actors we don't have access to. Yeah. <laughs> All sorts of craziness from the past. Yeah. So to go through the upheaval battle of putting one of those together again from, from yeah. scratch, I mean, that sounds, it does sound daunting. And I get why you want to recenter yourself and just go back to, yeah, this is why I love filmmaking. And I think the two, if you look at the progress of the MCU Spider-Man films, it took until the third one. I think a lot of people would agree for John Watts voice as a director to really start to feel like it's informing how the movie is shaped and is moving and you know the committee is involved with all of them but the third one easily felt like the one most authored by him and I feel like the Fantastic Four movie probably puts a director in a position where they have to again because of all that baggage from the past because of people's collective memory of all that it doesn't seem like you would have as much room to be free and to you know really indulge your cinematic instincts and expertise whereas you know too I think it's 
it's got to be enriching, I think, for any filmmaker who's just spent a decade doing a character as big as this. Also having to answer for the past of that character and years and years worth of legacy. I think you need to leave and go collect some other inspirations and stretch your legs out a little differently. And then, yeah, come back. And and I mean, he, he did No Way Home. If he wants to come back, they'll make it happen. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because just the, the ability to slap from the director of Spider-Man No Way Home on any trailer means money. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah. of course, of course. Yeah, that's a great point. Now let's talk about who could possibly replace him. A lot of people felt from the beginning that it ought to have been Peyton Reed, the one who helmed the Ant-Man films. And I do think Peyton Reed would be a fantastic choice. All puns intended. Nah. However, there was a tweet by the greatest leaker of them all. <laughs> Look at Toby Mr. McGuire's Toby dick. Mr. Toby McGuire dick. <laughs> That's right. That's his main claim to fame. John Gambia, he put this out here and uh, Twitter's been running away with it. He says, I'll say it. I'll say it. <laughs> Finger wave. <laughs> John Krasinski has agreed to direct Fantastic Four. And that's the real reason why. We didn't say why. Real reason John Watts <laughs> stepped down. Feige promised him another juicy MCU film later if he agreed to go along with the BS I just need a break excuse. I mean, I believe the I need a break. I, would, I, I want absolutely break. believe. Now, before proceeding forward, a little bit later, he did say... I thought it was clear, but since a couple people are asking, this is not a report, this is my guess. Fair enough, however. <laughs> I mean, the way you phrase that is For a little unclear. Like inside information and being like, that's the real reason why. Because it's one thing if like I say that shit, <laughs> but it's another thing when someone who does have more industry insider information did do something with some photos for a previous film and then had to go here's why i think it's fake and probably fake <laughs> yeah 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 he didn't try taking this tweet down oh my god can't be actually deleted the tweet if he deleted the tweet does that mean that it was actually something real as he's trying to cover his tracks what is going on here john campia what is going on here odds are probably doesn't know even though when i go online i'm like a lot of people are going i bet john campia actually knows something and he's and now he's just trying to like cover it you know well this is the great thing about all these leaks and the andrew garfield stuff and yada yada Yada, yada is now I feel like up until anything comes out it could be anyone's game you know yeah. someone could be guessing properly someone could actually know somebody could just be throwing out a theory I mean I think it's funny that he led with I'll say it because that just implies that it's either going to be a hot take or a piece of info he was sitting on yeah <laughs> instead of just like I'm accustomed to hearing John put his opinion out there and speculating so I don't feel like I'll say it really is necessary if that's what you're doing and you don't want people to be confused by that but, yeah but yeah I mean it's a decent theory and hey if John Watts really didn't want to leave, that seems like the absolute most gracious way to be like, yeah, sure, John, take it over, because no one's going to be happy that I stayed if they hear you wanted to do it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I mean, I think John Watts would have been fantastic, but yeah. Krasinski, who's done, like, his most notable directing gigs, is like his most popular ones are horror films. I think maybe the theory comes into mind of John Krasinski would star in it as Mr. Fantastic only if he could direct it, you know? Which I would be cool with. I'd be excited. I mean, I'll be honest, you know? A lot of people want John Krasinski to direct this, and there's nothing I've seen in A Quiet Place <laughs> that makes me go, he'd be great for a <laughs> That's Fantastic, the fantastic Four. four. <laughs> and granted, I don't know the other films he's done. So for me, I only have to go off of A Quiet Place. Yeah. I'm sure he'd do a, a, a just a really fine job. Either way, regardless, I want John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic. Make it happen. Make it happen, Marvel. Cowards. Don't be a bitch. The way you've done John Watts dirty yeah yeah, yeah. Well, you shipped him in the back that's right you threw him overboard because you him under that bus. krasinsk yeah you jerks yeah. you're a bunch of jerks marvel signed him on in 2020 bunch of BS. Yeah, cut i need a break now. <laughs> why would a director want a break <laughs> especially after working on this for over a year and being involved in the biggest whirlwind of media frenzy over a movie in a long time bunch of BS. Yeah. There's no way he would want to break. Money talks, baby. <laughs> Guys, who would you want to take over for directing Fantastic Four? Mel Gibson? Edgar Wright. Nah, nah. I'm pretty sure Mel Gibson. <laughs> Definitely Mel Gibson. <laughs> Get him to play Mr. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Or Doctor Doom. Or Doctor Both. Actually, be a good Doctor Doom. He would be a good Doctor Doom. That's the kind Elderly of PR Doctor Doom. Marvel wants. <laughs> All right, see you guys.